And this is what it's all about today, guys. The Thermic Heated Mittens. You might recall I did a review just a couple of days ago for the Lens Heated Gloves, which I loved. I gave them a massive thumbs up. I just love those. You could just feel the warmth straight away. And someone like myself, who does suffer with cold fingers and cold toes on the slopes, immediately I just loved them and fell in love with them. Since then, I've been down to my local ski shop here in Norwich, Snowfit Revolutions. Great guys in there, really helpful, really friendly staff. I'll put their social media website details and stuff on my social media so you can get in touch with them if you want to. I was in there just a couple of days ago. They said, hey, why don't you try these as a comparison? See how they compare, see how they stack up to the lens heated gloves. So big thanks to the guys for just lending me these. Uh, sadly, they're not mine, I wish they were, but we'll see how they are in comparison to the lens gloves. Um, let me just start with the price point. The lens gloves, you might recall, with the batteries came in around about 260 pounds or thereabouts. We had to buy the batteries and the gloves separately. It was around about 260. These ones, slightly less expensive, still expensive. All of these heat products are expensive, but these ones slightly cheaper, 230 pounds. But these have the batteries included. That is the whole package, 230. So what do we get for our money? And is it any good? Before we open up the box, just gonna pop my glasses on and we'll just take a look at some of the the technology on the side. So up to 10 hours battery life. That obviously depends on what battery setting, what heat setting you have the batteries set to. Um, breathable, waterproof membrane, as you'd expect. So the outer layer, the leather is waterproof. The inside has got, um, it's got really nice Prima Loft insulation technology on the fingers on the inside of the gloves. So it's gonna keep you nice and warm. Lightweight lithium batteries, three hours of heat settings, sorry, three heat settings, not three hours. We'd want more than that, wouldn't we? Three heat settings, uh, waterproof zippers. Uh, and we'll look at some of the other things as we go along. So let's take a look what's inside the box. To look at, pretty standard pair of ski mittens. Actually, if I just hold them both like this. If you see this one here, it's got the red light on. That one is switched on at the moment. This one isn't. This one's been on for about 10, 15 minutes or so. And just holding it, you can just slightly feel the heat coming through the gloves. So you can feel that the heating element is doing its thing. So we'll come to the heating system in just a second. The glove itself, or the mitten, I keep calling it a glove. It's a mitten, my apologies. Um, nice leather across the palm of your hand, inside of your thumb where the wear is from the ski pole, uh, across the tops of your fingers as well making it a waterproof uh, system as well, so your fingers aren't gonna get wet if you're having a snowball fight or maybe falling over a lot and touching the snow. So waterproof system. If I just pop my hand inside and just feel the Prima Loft insulation inside, you can't help but smile as you put that on. That, even without the heating system, that is toasty warm, that is really lovely. I'm not normally a fan of mittens, I'm a glove man, but we'll have a look at the pros and cons of gloves versus mittens in just a second. Um, I do like this little strap here, or a little hook, I should say, just on the end there, just to help you pull your gloves, mittens, on and off. Really handy to have. Um, strap across the front. It's pretty standard ski stuff, this one, ski glove stuff. So strap across the front just to, to tighten your mitten to your hand. And these essential for any ski gloves, especially expensive ones like these. Um, Obviously the strap goes over your wrist. If you're taking your gloves off on the chairlift or whatever, you don't drop it 30 foot onto wherever you're going over below. So that's a really essential thing. Really easy to use. You can see the red button on the front there. So that's on steady at the moment. It's not flashing. That means it's on level three, the highest heat setting. That of course gives you the lowest battery life, um, but obviously that would depend on how cold the conditions are. Now if we press it again, you can see it's now flashing just once. So what that means is heat setting one. If we press it again, you can see it does like a double flash, a double flicker, which signifies heat setting two, and then we press it again, it's on steady, heat setting three. So the lens gloves also had three heat settings, so it's very similar in that respect. This is really easy to operate because you just literally press the button on your hand. Really simple, press. The lens ones, it's also simple. There's a button on the inside of your glove on the lens one, so fairly simple to operate those as well. But initially when I bought the lens gloves, I was thinking to myself that actually I'd use the app because the app controls your socks and any other lens product you have. And for your socks, it's really useful because you don't want to be rolling up your salopettes, uh, fighting your way through to get to your 
batteries on your sock to change the settings. So you can actually do that from your phone. But actually thinking about it, why would you faff about getting your phone out to change the power on your gloves? It's just much easier to press the button. So for the lens gloves and for these gloves, you probably use the, bu the button um, rather than the, the app. Uh, so I like that on this, nice and easy to use. So on the whole, the gloves are really nice. In terms of the size, these are small as well. The lens ones I tried were also small, but these, without a doubt, do fit better. The lens ones I just found were a little bit excessive in the fingers. They came quite high up on my wrists as well. They were just a, a smidge bigger than I would have wanted. They're not unusable, they're certainly fine, but they're just a smidge bigger um, than I would have wanted. These certainly are a better fit, and these are the same size, effectively, they're a small as well. Now, as I said a moment ago, these are mittens. Inside the glove itself, the Prima Loft system is, is like a, an inner glove. So each of your fingers is separated. They're not touching each other in the inner um, insulated part of the mitten. So your fingers aren't actually touching. It's just this outer layer of leather, which turns it into a mitten, if you like. If I'm really honest, I probably wouldn't go for the mitten. Personal preference, and that's all it is. I was skiing just last week, and both the people I was skiing with both had mittens. I was the only one in gloves. It is purely just a, a personal preference, but myself, I'm more of a glove person than a mitten person. These guys, Thermic, do do this in a glove as well. So maybe a, a size small in this in a glove would be better for me. There is one little downside potentially when it comes to this versus the lens glove. And it's when you come to charge it up. Let's take a look at how you do that. Now with the lens gloves, it's really, really simple to take the batteries out and to charge them. The batteries are interchangeable with the socks and any other lens product. The batteries fit any of them, they're all universal. And they literally just, you zip it open, just like you do on this one. Zip open the little pouch and the battery just goes click, click, click. There's three poppers and it's in and it's out very, very easily, very, very quickly. Um, I like that system with lens. This one, however, is a little more complicated and just a little more fiddly. So you open up the zip in exactly the same way and inside here are two batteries. And in between the batteries, I'll put this on the screen, is the little charging point. You can see that there on the screen now. So where the arrow is pointing to is where the charging cable will attach to, okay? But it's quite fiddly because, if I just move closer to the camera, you've got to try and get to this piece here, you can just about see, and it's actually quite a faff to then get the charger, which is in the box in here. We'll have a look at that in a second. To try and get that onto there, there's wires in the way, the batteries are in the way a little bit. I mean, even now, look, I'm just, get, out, get that out of the way. It's just, it's not impossible. It's just more of a faff and more fiddly. And if I'm really honest, I just felt a little bit like, I'm gonna break this at any minute, I'm gonna break it. So, out of the two charging systems, battery systems, I would probably say the lens battery interchanging system is slightly better. But let's be honest, you're gonna do this at the end of the day, you'll plug it in and then unplug it a few hours later once the batteries are charged. So it's two five second or 20 second operations. It's not a big deal. And you're potentially then gonna get a full day of comfort. Whereas the lens gloves, much, much easier to uh, switch the batteries and what have you, but the glove itself I don't feel is quite as nice as this. So ask yourself, what's more important? The glove being nice and a bit of a fiddle, or no fiddle and a glove that doesn't feel quite so nice? I'll let you answer that for yourself. Um, let me look at how we charge it up because that's quite fiddly as well. And this is the charging system. So it's really quite simple. So that's a USB on the end. So that just goes into any USB plug, just like a mobile phone, your iPhone or whatever. And on the end, we have the two connectors, one for each glove. So let's just take a look at how we put that into the glove. Just gonna unzip that compartment once again. And then this is where it gets fiddly. We've got to find that little, little bit there. See that there? I'm just gonna put this on the screen again so you can see it. And this has to then attach in to there like this, like so, like this. There we go, right, that's in. So, see what I mean? It's just a bit fiddly. So now we've got the, the charger connected to the gloves, and then to unconnect it, disconnect it, we just have to 
pull this off, but I'm just a bit scared that if I pull it too hard, I don't want to tug the wire out the other end, so just, God, it's off. So, as you can see, it's, it's not, not a deal breaker, it's just a little more fiddly than the lens system. If they could improve that, if they could maybe adopt something similar to the lens system in terms of the battery charging and uh, disconnecting, what have you, this would be, in my opinion, just that little bit better. But as it is, still gonna get a thumbs up from me at Ski Shack Reviews. Really, really comfortable glove. Certainly really, really warm. Obviously, as you can see, I'm not on the ski slope right now. I'm gonna take these next week skiing. I'm back in Borovets in Bulgaria next week. So I'm gonna take these skiing next week and I'll do a little update for you to see how they perform in the sub-zero conditions and in the snow. It's, it's one thing doing it in your kitchen diner. It's another on the slopes. But in terms of the glove and the heating system itself, really nice, really comfy, good size, lovely and warm. I like it. In terms of the charging system, I like it a little bit less, but still a great glove from Thermic. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, please support the guys at Snowfit Revolutions as well. Check out their website, their social media. It's all there. I'll put a link to it from mine as well. Thank you to those guys for letting me borrow the gloves and I'll test them properly, as I say, on the slopes next week. Thanks for watching. Happy skiing.